Zer's in the hangar in the tower, and he is currently selling Prometheus Lens, which is uh, an okay weapon. I will always say this about weapons. If you do not have it, you might as well pick it up. You might never know if it gets buffed in the future or it gets stupid broken. You might never know. But for those who are interested, this is a, a solar trace rifle. There's only like three or four solar, or there's only three or four tr trace rifles in the game. So this is one of them. Uh, it does have a catalyst as well. So if you want to test your luck, you might as well. For the hunters, it's going to be Orpheus Rig. Uncanny Arrow provides ability energy for each enemy tethered by deadfall anchors. The top trees void. Mobius Quiver has more shots. Bottom tree void. So top tree void you drop your deadfall and you just get more super energy from it it's really that simple the only thing is it's capped at at half uh so 50 percent. you can only get 50 percent of your super with this and for bottom tree void mobius quiver you just get more shots that's really it the stat distribution is pretty garbage but if you don't have it i mean might as well pick it up you might never know in the future it might get nerfed again for, for titans it's gonna be Titan's rampart and this one is really good stats on it are pretty dog shit but again if you don't have it these are really good to have uh again high mobility is just not the play and for those of you wondering what it actually does assault barricade you and your allies can shoot through your towering barricade which has reduced health and duration essentially your barricade gets turned into a shoot through barricade it's ridiculous and it's really powerful I highly recommend any Titans that don't have this to pick this one up. Even though the stats are bad, the exotic itself is so good that it doesn't even matter. And last but not least, the Stag. One of my favorite, visually favorite uh, headpieces for the Warlocks. The stats are actually pretty decent for what you're getting. If, you, if you're using this for PvP, you could bump that resilience to 19. Because at that point, if you masterwork this, you're getting, what, 21 on resilience 20 on recovery and then 16 on discipline and intellect that's pretty good for the actual ability it's grants rift energy when you're critically wounded on your death creates a healing rift on your corpse uh i think this is okay in pvp it's whatever you're gonna this is definitely gonna be for people who want to help out their teammates but again if you don't have it might as well pick it up it's really really cool looking especially if you get the catalyst like, it's one of my favorite looks for the Warlocks. Just unfortunate that the exotic's not that good, in my opinion. And then for the exotic engram of the week, I actually ended up getting the Atheris Embrace, which is unfortunate because I don't know which one I like more because this one has high resilience and high discipline, but this is a melee exotic, so you might, you're going to want either high mobility or high strength. And this one I have high mobility, but not much recovery, and that's really it. But the strength is really good as well, so I'm just kind of like either or. But that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you guys later.